Hi, I'm Dr. David Marquis, and I just wanted to take a few minutes and share with you what our practice does in regards to peripheral neuropathies. Peripheral neuropathies is any altered sensory in the hands or feet when they uh, have numbness, tingling, burning, um, unreasonable cold. Uh, sometimes you'll see that your uh, skin tone actually changes when you start to uh, enter an area where it's a little bit cold. Well, people suffer with this sometimes for their whole lives. And one of the things that uh, plagues a lot of people as they age is uh, peripheral neuropathy. Uh, many people will be accustomed to the term diabetic neuropathy. So you can see that uh, just about at any age this can occur and more commonly as you age it definitely you see a little bit more of that. But more often than not when I find people coming into the practice complaining of this they've been dealing with it for a long time and they haven't had the answer provided to them and so it just kind of progresses. Sometimes it gets to the point where particularly in the feet where they can no longer actually feel the ground beneath them and it's more like you're kind of walking on stumps. Or when you walk, it becomes so painful that you're limited the distance that you can walk. We look at peripheral neuropathy in the way that we look at a variety of chronic disorders, and that's both metabolically and neurologically. When you come into our practice, you'll hear those two terms quite frequently because when you look at a patient in any other way, I find that pieces to the puzzle of their health get left out. So I wanted to share with you how we apply the metabolic and neurological aspect of evaluation and care to peripheral neuropathy. First off, we want to find out if a person is actually able to feed their nerves and their circulatory system appropriately. And that comes down to your metabolism. Many people are dealing with metabolic disorders that they're unaware of. And they just kind of get through their day by using different medications so that they can digest their food or deal with the pain that they uh, accept as ordinary. And it's not ordinary to have, or normal I should say, to have pain on a daily basis. That should actually be looked into so that you can find out what the cause is and resolve that. Looking at yourself in a metabolic fashion requires appropriate lab work. So when we're looking at someone with peripheral neuropathies, we're going to look at a complete blood work which is going to include autoantibodies against yourself because many of these people are eating things and a lot of people don't want to hear that because they don't want to change their diet but many people who are dealing with neuropathies are eating things that are perpetuating the problem. Those people can take drugs till the cows come home and they are not going to get solution long term to their problem. They might have brief windows where they feel better but it's going to come back as sure as the sun's going to rise in the morning because the underlying fire that's causing the damage to either the blood vessels or the nerves hasn't been put out. And that's what you have to do to understand, is this a metabolic problem? You've got to do a complete blood lab. That blood lab includes not just the standard panel where you get your CBC and your CMP and your lipids. You want to look at all of your inflammatory markers, all of your autoimmune markers. We want to see what your endocrine system is doing, so we'll do saliva studies. We actually want to see how you're digesting your food, so we'll do a stool panel. Many people are walking around with things growing inside them that they don't know about. A lot of people. That one never ceases to amaze me when I show people what's going on inside their gut and why they're not digesting appropriately. But when we combine all this information, we get a good, clear picture as to is this person's neuropathy related to an actual trauma? Do they have some type of structural fault going on where the nerves are actually getting constricted? Is this a metabolic problem because of something they're eating or they're not managing their blood sugar appropriately? And here in the United States when we talk about managing blood sugar, I'll just go off on that tangent just for a brief moment. We think, well, yeah, I'm going to cut back on my carbs and I'm going to take some metformin or some type of blood sugar stabilizing medicine. That's not the solution. The solution lies a little bit, actually quite a bit deeper than that. And we'll find that out and help you with that so that we can retrain you what an appropriate diet actually would be and turn off that fire that's irritating those nerves and blood vessels that are choking off the sensory to your extremities. On the neurological side, we'll do specific evaluations to find out how the brain is actually communicating with your extremities. 
And there's some great tools that we have for that in terms of understanding which side of the brain might be reducing oxygen flow to one side of the body. And then once we find that out, we treat. We treat people with ex um, oxygen with exercise, excuse me, exercise with oxygen therapy. The exercise with oxygen therapy is a fantastic tool that helps to upregulate your ability to deliver that vital nutrient to all of your tissues. That's really what we are as human beings. We're, we're beings that need fuel and activation. And our fuel is proper glucose management, proper management of our sugars, and proper delivery of oxygen. Our brain thrives off of it. Every cell in our body thrives off of it. But you'd be surprised how many people we see when we put on the monitor and we see, okay, their oxygen saturation might be close to 100%, which is great, but their perfusion might be down less than 10%. Why is that happening? And on those patients, sometimes you'll see, well, you know what? Where they're perfusing less, they're actually growing some toenail fungus. That's another great indicator that that part of the body is being starved. And so we can upregulate that with the exercise with oxygen therapy, with compounds like glutathione. Laser therapies are indispensable. If there's a structural problem, sometimes decompression comes in handy. Using brain-based therapies like the interactive metronome and vibratory stim, uh, visual stim, auditory stim, there are so many ways that you can help an individual with peripheral neuropathy. If you're suffering from that, I encourage you, get that stack of lab work that you've collected over the last couple of decades, bring it into our office, fill out the paperwork so that we can get a good picture of who you are. We'll sit down and we'll go over that with a fine tooth comb so that we can find out what your original cause is. If there's holes in the labs, we'll fill them in by getting new labs to fill in those pieces so that we can get a comprehensive picture of you and then implement an equally comprehensive therapy program to restore your feeling to those limbs. I thank you for taking the time to watch this video and encourage you to give our office a call. If you have any further questions, our staff is more than willing to help you out to answer those and I look forward to meeting you. Best of health.